comes just one day after the governor sent Iowa school districts scrambling. She signed a new law overnight banning them from requiring masks in their classrooms, forcing districts to make last minute policy changes. New tonight, KCCI Cynthia Fodor spoke with some area administrators about how they handled this sudden switch. Well, Steve, while some school administrators tell me they heard word about this yesterday afternoon that the state might ban the mask mandate, but they weren't expecting the governor to sign the new law into effect so quickly after midnight. We certainly couldn't finish out the year without one more surprise. To say there was a little bit of scrambling would be an understatement. School staff, parents, and students are experiencing what some call whiplash after the masks on, masks off policies the past few days. Friday, the Department of Public Health made masks optional, but many schools switched back to requiring them through the end of the school year. Now a change in the law changes that. I think it's a bunch of malarkey. We only have two weeks left and we just need to get these younger kids that can't even get vaccinated through. I mean, we've gone this far. I don't understand. We are so close to the finish and it's it's upsetting. But some parents are now relieved it's their decision. I know my son, he he's really had trouble with the masks and he's touching the mask, licking inside the mask and doing some not so sanitary things. So I think it's actually healthier for a lot of kids. You can go into one classroom and you'll have about half and half. You could go into another one and see just a handful of students wearing their masks and the same with teachers. There are reports of some students bullying others who choose to continue wearing masks. We teach kindness and respect no matter what side that we're on. If you want to call a pandemic sides, we are almost at the finish line. The bell is about to ring at the end of the day um, to send us off into summer and we want to end on a high note and for those who this has caused stress and anxiety um, it's been a really tough few days and they say it's been a really tough year with all the changes and another fallout from this some parents who want masks in schools are pulling their kids out of school for the remainder of this school year, which is just another eight days for a lot of districts like Johnston and Waukee. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. This new law also bans Iowa cities and counties from creating any ordinances that force businesses to require masks. Iowa State-run universities announced today that they are no longer requiring students, staff, or visitors to wear masks. It's part of a larger plan to return to normalcy on the three campuses. The Board of Regents also says it's lifting its state of emergency for Iowa State University, the University of Iowa, and the University of Northern Iowa. That means no more social distancing in classrooms, and staff and students are now expected to return to campus in person. The regents are strongly recommending that all members of campus communities get a COVID-19 vaccine. The new mask legislation has been in the works for a few weeks now. Republicans who proposed and voted to pass this bill say it's something parents wanted. This is Iowans uh, speaking up and saying we want to get back to normal. Uh, the CDC is relaxing guidelines. We want our kids to be in school and be able to focus on their education and not worry about the mask they've been wearing for for the last year. Democrats say taking power away from local officials to issue a mandate is irresponsible. This is a political statement that's going to have implications long beyond this legislative session and this pandemic. Who knows what's coming next? If we've learned anything, it's that we need to be prepared for whatever eventuality could come when it comes to global health. Now, doctors say we are still in a pandemic and it is important to be careful. New at five, Rhea asked a health expert what this law banning masks means for children in the classrooms. While school districts can no longer enforce mask mandates, many are strongly encouraging students and staff to wear them. I asked Nola Eigner Davis with Polk County Health if parents should be concerned about the new adjustment. She responded with a reference to CDC guidelines. And what they say is anyone who is not fully vaccinated or anyone who is partially vaccinated, which they have not received their full vaccine, they should be wearing a mask. And we know this goes for children anywhere. Um, even though children from 12 to 15 year olds can be vaccinated, that was just last week. So they'd only have one vaccine on board. But we know that anyone who isn't fully vaccinated or is not vaccinated at all should be wearing a mask. And that is our young kiddos. 
She added that she has seen young adults and kids get COVID throughout the year. Kids are not immune, and although they may have less severe symptoms, and of course, there is still capability of them spreading that virus.